Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail? Call 800-949-4444. Discover world-class golf, not a world away. As Lance Russell talked to the new USWA matchmaker James Beard, he's, being, he's made promises and he's making good on his promises. We have a USWA championship match coming up right here on television today. And coming out is the USWA heavyweight champion, Doomsday. And I see he is accompanied by Dutch Mantel with a sign that says, Yes, you may worship me. What's this all about? don't want to stand over here with me today? Doomsday, stand right there, my man. You see, the icon has been busily dispensing information during the past week, and guess who didn't listen? Billy Travis didn't listen because just six days ago I sat down with him. I said, Billy, you need to get your life in order, son, or you're going to be looking at life through prison, uh, prison bars. But he didn't listen. So what good is it to dispense advice if you're not going to listen? Well, he didn't listen, and now he's suspended. But Doomsday, he has left Doomsday here with a dilemma. He has no advisor. Now, let's don't make a mistake here. I am not Doomsday's manager. I'm not his caretaker. I am merely his advisor. And he has a USWA title match today on TV, and I am here to see. Against Paul uh, Diamond. Right, against Paul Diamond, an undefeated wrestler, I think. You said he was? He is undefeated, and this man is undefeated here in the USWA, yeah. and is obviously wearing the gold. Absolutely. He's going to put it on the line today, but I am here merely to see that he has done right, because he was brought in to protect Billy Travis, Luther Biggs takes off, Travis takes off, he's here by himself. This man has a body, you know, 320 pounds, six foot nine, no fat on him, and I think he can beat anybody. When he beats Paul Diamond today, he can take Steve Dunn on next week, he can take on Brian Christopher the next week, he can take on that skag Doug Gilbert the next week, and he can keep on and on and on and on, as long as it makes that new matchmaker happy. So all I got to say is I've talked enough, we got a ring, we got a TV, we got a viewing audience, so let's get a USWA title match in the ring right now. Bring Paul Diamond through that door right now, and let's get it started. Well, this man has definitely got his work cut out for him today, as Paul Diamond has a shot at the me too, and you can start right now. Dutch Mantel making his presence known. Here comes Paul Diamond. And the fans react appropriately, and this should be one whale of USWA. Heavyweight championship match, Paul Diamond against the champion Doomsday, and I must say, you got a man undefeated on television in Paul Diamond and a man undefeated in the USWA in Doomsday. What a matchup this is going to be, Lance. Just adds a little uh, specialness to it as uh, Paul Diamond, wrestling out of Canada, coming in at 245 pounds, going against the USWA heavyweight champion, Weighing in at 319 pounds, here he is, Doomsday, the champion. Referee, downtown Bruno Feldheim. And here we go, Michael. Now, it's noteworthy to uh, say that even though Dutch Mantel says he's not the manager of Doomsday or not the confidant of Doomsday, look who's at ringside with Doomsday. Maybe he's the confidant. That is to say, he's con Doomsday in the real saying that he needs him so he can get a piece of that championship purse that comes out every time he climbs in the ring. Doomsday firing Diamond back, and look at he's got him trapped, but Diamond gets away. Here's an experienced guy with a lot of wrestling savvy, and as you said, Michael, undefeated on television here in the USWA. And this is something you don't see very often. Paul Diamond pressed high above the head of Doomsday and slammed to the canvas. I'll tell you, Lance, this, uh, when you, and I know you've interviewed this Doomsday character, when you stand beside him, you feel like you're intimidated. How do you, how do you think, yeah, Lance, I'm just going to do a little commentary. How do you think Paul Diamond Great, feels right fine, now? Doug. Undefeated till today, and all good things must end. It's going to end right now. Probably a couple minutes. This is not one of these kids that just walked off the street. Here's a guy that's been around. He's experienced. Lance, I don't think it's Lance, over you know that what? Quick. You, need to quit, you need to quit all that drinking. You're delusional. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you. Come on, come on. Let's, 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 let's oh, keep the focus on the match. Look at Diamond sliding back into the ring on Doomsday. A couple of kicks to the midsection. Real big hit. Uh oh, reversal coming back. Diamond. Got to give him credit. Champion got him. He caught that foot. Diamond was about to pull it off. But the Doomsday caught that foot. I didn't think he'd be that quick with it. And wheeled him around, pounded him with that broad arm. 
arm. Locked him down with a close line, and he's going right back after Paul Diamond. Belt on the line. Paul Diamond, Doomsday the champion. You know, Lance, so many times we say when there's a big man and a smaller man in the ring, how the smaller man sometimes has the advantage with the quickness aspect. Well, here you've got a, a man that's really not that small in Paul Diamond against this gigantic individual who is very quick. And you just don't see that very often with a big man. But boy, big choke slam there on Diamond and Paul Diamond down on the canvas. And Dutch Mantel acting as a cheerleader around the ring. As long as that's all he acts as, that's fine. We don't need him being involved any more than that. There is just a great choke, no slam, just choke. Break it up, Bruno. That's nice. I know it's not easy to get a six foot nine, 300 pounder to do something when he doesn't want to, but that's what the job is. And Diamond, there's that short arm slam with that short clothesline. Did you line. reiterate my earlier statement that I am not his manager, I'm merely an advisor? Did you say, we, did you we did me? say that. We also said you're doing your little cheerleading routine as long as you continue it's to legal. do this. And it's not legal. And not interfere with the match. There's not a problem here. Now, my creation, my animal, my machine, and he's taking the measure of Paul Diamond right here exactly like I said he would. You sound like a manager, Dutch. I... Diamond. Set up on the top. Turn buckle off the shoulder of taking as much out of Paul Diamond as it did Doomsday, but what a masterfully set and executed maneuver by Paul Diamond. And psychologically, it's got to be important to show that he can do it, but Doomsday, irritated by it, right back in as the Diamond whips across. He puts a foot in the midsection. Look at Diamond. Right on him and drives him into the mat. Beautiful. Bulldog off the second rope. Got a two count and almost a three. I thought we'd have a title change right there. You know, this USWA title has been very volatile. We've been in six weeks, starting with Frank. Oh, here comes P.G. Walker. Jumps in on the back of Paul Diamond. What in the world is he doing involved in this? Has absolutely no benefit. I mean, no, no business being in there. Look at this, Lamp. Obviously, Doomsday upset over the course of events during that match, and he just chokeslam PG-187, if you would, and he crawls out on the floor and is tactically leaving the arena. He was trying to have some of the luster of a heavyweight title rub off on him, and Doomsday didn't appreciate it one bit as uh, Paul Diamond ends up winning by disqualification, but the belt will stay with Doomsday. We've got more of it. Bunches of stuff in line for you. Stay right where you are.